if the standards are not resting on the firm ground the of the standard should be provided and their bottom ends. A bedding. B finishing. C raising. D spacing. The correct answer is. Bedding. The loading on the scaffolding decides the of standards. A bedding. B raising. C finishing. D spacing. The correct answer is. Spacing. Type of shoring is suitable for a maximum distance of about 9 m between the adjacent parallel walls. A dead shore. B raking shore. C vertical shore. D flying shore. The correct answer is. Flying shore. In arrangement the horizontal members known as the needles are supported by vertical members. A horizontal shore. B flying shore. C dead shore. D raking shore. The correct answer is. Dead shore. The should be preferably inclined at 45 with the ground. A horizontal shore. B raking shore. C dead shore. D vertical shore. The correct answer is. Raking shore. In arrangement the horizontal supports are given two parallel walls which have become unsafe due to the removal or collapse of the intermediate building. A inclined shore. B raking shore. C dead shore. D flying shore. The correct answer is. Flying shore. Is necessary to tie back the scaffolding with the building at suitable levels. A loading. B tying in. C raising. D spacing. The correct answer is. Tying in. In shore arrangement the inclined supports are given to the external walls from the ground. A raking shore. B flying shore. C dead shore. D patented shore. The correct answer is. Raking shore. Sometimes the structures are to be temporarily supported. This is achieved by what is known as the A scaffolding B shoring C underpinning D grouting The correct answer is Shoring In shores the needles are placed at a distance of about 1.5 m to 2 m and they are suitably braced A vertical shores B horizontal shore C inclined shore D raking shore the correct answer is vertical shores.